So for today's video, we are doing general love messages. So basically, I left it open to the cards. I wasn't even sure what I was going to call the video. I just said, whatever you need to know about love right now. So this could be a situation from the past, future, present. We're not really sure, but we have lots to work with today. So we have the charms. And if you're new here, my name is Liz. We do charm casting. There's my new charm. A couple of new charms in here. So lots of info there. We get, we get letters and and uh, words, names, things like that. So thank you for those of you that helped me with the words. And then we have the lover's oracle. So we got clarification with those. Those answers were very cool. And then very exciting, we have the magical oracle book. So I have some books here. And basically how we're gonna use these is I'm gonna pick a random page, pick a paragraph or a phrase or a poem. And that's what this person would want to say to you. So we have to look at it as almost like when someone buys a greeting card. They're not the words they wrote themselves, but the sentiment is there. The intention is there. So that's how we look at these. So we've got these. Very excited um, for you guys to see what we got with these. These were a lot of fun. So if you like them, let me know in the comments. So lots of info. I'll give you a close up of each crystal. But I just want to thank you guys so much for everyone who's been subscribing. Thank you so much. Guys, I, I know I always get all sappy, but thank you so much. Honestly, thank you for joining me um, and for liking and comments. Your comments are so beautiful. Thank you. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We have a lot of fun here. We do different really fun things. Um, but the charms are my definitely my favorite. We have a lot of fun with those. Oh, look, you can see his little face there. So cute. My little hedgehog. Okay, so I'll show you each crystal. So for pile one, we have Aqua Aura Quartz. For pile two, Aura Light. Pile three, Rose Quartz. Pile four, Spirit Quartz. So whichever crystal or number is calling your attention will be your pile. And just a quick message regarding charms. I don't know if you guys have been with me from the beginning. The way I read charms is like a painting. Or, you know, a better analogy would be a paragraph. And for a while, there are a lot of people wanted me to talk about each charm individually. But I almost look at that as if you took all the words out of a paragraph and broke them down individually, it sort of takes away the message. So what I've been doing is sort of getting back to how I typically read with charms. And the messages are a lot more specific, a lot more clear. And it's almost as if I'm seeing scenes and images and memories in my mind when I read it the way I've always read. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm, I'm going to go through charms still. But basically, um, you're also invited to look at the charm. So if you see a charm, for instance, this charm, what does that mean to you? I know what it means to me, but what does it mean to you? So if you feel like I don't address a specific charm or if I don't pick up a specific one, um, I always hold them up so you can kind of get an idea of what that means for you. And then I read them as sort of like a large image. Um, so that's the best way to describe it. Um, when I got away from reading it the way I typically read and started breaking it down, sometimes the meaning was a little bit lost. Um, so thank you guys for always supporting me. And um, I definitely love, I love your comments and I always take constructive criticism. I'm not someone like I'm, I've totally tried to listen to your advice and your feedback. Um, so I noticed a few people had wanted me to talk about each charm individually, but it tends to sort of like, break up the meaning of what we're getting. So I do address most of them and I tend to hold them up or address certain charms, but some charms might be for a specific person. So Jessica, for instance, if you're watching, there might be a charm for you today. So you know what I mean? So things like that. So, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay. So with that, we're going to get started. I'll leave the timestamps below. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I hope you have an awesome day and we'll start with number one. Hi, group one. So we have Aqua Aura Quartz. If you chose this crystal, then this is your soulmate message. And yeah, I basically just left it open. We'll see what the cards want to talk about. I also have the Oracle books as well, so we can get a message. So what they would say to you, um, what they would like to say to you. So it's almost like if, if they were to go buy a greeting card, even though it's not their words, what message would they want to give? And we also have the charms, of course. So let's take a look at what you have. So you have Awakening. 
Now this could be with someone you know, this could be with someone you're currently with, or if you haven't met anyone yet, this should still apply. So we have love yourself first, reconciliation, and I also have my lover's oracle as well. We've got the ten of wands, six of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so I'll get you a lover's oracle right away, group one, just to see what's going on here. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So that makes a lot of sense with love yourself first. So this, this makes sense, and that sort of sets the tone of what we're talking about here. So the Ten of Wands to start. So in a love reading, this would talk about perhaps one person putting most of the effort in. So you're almost carrying the relationship in a sense or putting most of the effort in, and you might feel like because of the Six of Pentacles, you might feel like it's a little bit one-sided or that you're carrying all of the weight because the Ten of Wands is about burden. It's about um, responsibility. It can come up in a love reading when we're supporting our significant other through challenging times, but because of what we have with it, I think it's more so, and just the way this is even depicted here, it, it feels to me like you're getting burnt out or someone's getting burnt out. Um, with the effort or just, and she looks very discouraged. So it's almost like, okay, I try, I try, this isn't happening. Um, they're not getting through to me. I'm not getting through to them, something like that. So there is a sense of frustration or a bit of just someone taking on more than they, than they need to be. So someone's putting in more effort perhaps. But then you have the six of pentacles as well. So these two immediately jumped out at me. Um, we'll get to the ace of pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles, this is a give and take card. And that's why I like to see it because it seems to me there's going to be an improvement in the situation. So again, this is give and take approach to relationships. So one person might be putting in more effort sometimes and then vice versa. It sort of depends. That's how a relationship should be. Um, it's give and take. Sometimes you need extra and sometimes you're able to give extra. Um, so that's it's, it has to it has to feel fair and it has to feel like the other person's putting in as much love or care or just work into the relationship that you are right it has to be fair so this is also just making me think of a realization or appreciation of what somebody has or who somebody has in their life so it could be that the, the person that you're thinking of uh, maybe didn't realize and you were sort of putting in effort to get their attention or whatever the case may be and they didn't quite realize or maybe they're just realizing oh and look at here this is this makes sense with this with the scale here so it almost looks similar to the justice card here and i like looking at the the images as well so the pumpkin there to me represents abundance so i'm almost getting a sense of they're realizing you know what's important in life relationships love that seems to be what's happening. So then you have the Ace of Pentacles. Now we usually think of Pentacles as finance, finances, career, home life, things like that. But when we're asking a love question and we see a Pentacles card pop out, it has different meanings. Okay, we have to look at the Pentacles as um, practical approach to a relationship. So those things in relationships that we actually, you know, deal with day to day is the best way to explain it. <clears throat> so. This is making me think of, because it's an ace, a new start, but it's also making me think of a practical approach. So thinking long-term. Um, and then also when we see the ace of pentacles, we think um, an offer, we think an, an opportunity. So I'm thinking of seeing the value of a connection, seeing the value of an opportunity. So it's almost as if somebody has sort of, and just like this card says, they're, they're having to be true to themselves and the awakening, it's almost like a sudden realization. You know, they're seeing the truth that leads to this new start with the Ace of Pentacles. So that's sort of what I'm getting here. So if this isn't resonating, it might not be for you, but I'm almost sort of getting someone's being true to themselves here. And with the love yourself first, at first, I thought that was maybe 
in regards to you and it could be but I think somebody sort of maybe recognizing that they have something to offer as well this could have to do with somebody having low self-esteem there's all sorts of different things that could be happening here or sort of coming into play it's going to be different for each of you so whatever resonates but don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others so someone sort of I think with the awakening, they're facing something, they're realizing something, they've made a decision or a conclusion about a relationship or a connection. So that's good because that means forward movement and that means fresh start and a, and a very practical start too because the Ace of Pentacles would be thinking very long term. I just want to get one more Lover's Oracle. Okay, we had two more pop out, so we will take both. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So that's important when we see the Ace of Pentacles too. We have to give something a fresh start. We have to give, you know, a situation a fresh start. We also have reconciliation here. So these, these two make a lot of sense together. So this is a coming together with someone and working on whatever has torn you apart. This could be a past connection. This person is praying for a new beginning with you. Be willing to give this relationship or connection a second chance. This may pertain to an apology or a compromise. Okay, and then this one just says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So it is important that you, that things are even, sort of like I was saying. You know, sometimes someone is going to be able to put forth more effort, but it has to be, it has to be give and take. You have to feel like you're, it's reciprocal. Um, so that's why I like this past is now behind you because it seems to be talking about reconciliation and a fresh start. And then this one popped out as well. It says, if you can do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So you're getting a lot about um, like listening to, listening to your heart, being true to yourself, specifically with the love yourself first. The awakening sort of makes me think of maybe a spiritual awakening or just a realization about someone or a situation. So I really want to get to the charms because this is where we're going to get possibly names, initials, specific charms relating to the situation. But first, let's get you a message. Okay, so what would they say? So I do want to use this one here. So what I'm going to do is just flip through and land on a page and then that's what they would say to you or the essence of what they would say to you. There are little pieces of happiness and they are scattered throughout your, through your day. So take a basket with you and as you step outside, fill it up with little pieces and bring it back inside. Take a moment just by yourself, take out all of the pieces and place them on your shelf. That's interesting. That's making me think of like someone sort of reminiscing or thinking about what they had with you maybe or or different moments it's almost like reminding me of memories where they're they're sort of thinking about things with you and they're they're putting the pieces back together and they haven't forgotten about you either so let me know what you think of that poem so take a moment just by yourself take out all the pieces and place them on yourself so it seems like they're thinking of you in private like they're thinking of you they they haven't let go and maybe maybe this is leading to this awakening that we have here. I'm going to get you a message from the Magic Oracle book. These ones in particular are very, you'll see. So you're really going to have to think about what this might mean to you, okay? So let's just take a look. My hand knows a thing or two. Remember what turned the wheel, what melted away. I can ask it to pluck a rose. I can ask it to try the doors of mystery. So that's going to feel very personal to you. You'll have to sort of see what that means to you. To me, remember what, so my hand knows a thing or two. Remember what turned the wheel, what melted away. That makes me think of like, they know that they did this. Like they know that something was uneven. Now, if you're thinking, okay, I haven't met this person yet. Like this seems like something that's already happened. That's what I'm getting to. I'm getting like, this is something that's either happened with someone in the past. And now you're thinking ahead with someone new, but there is a bit of reconciliation. There is a bit of that vibe of someone from the past, okay? So this could be someone, I'm sensing that it's someone you're dealing with currently, okay? So if this doesn't resonate, no worries, the next one might be for you, but this feels very specific to something that's happening right now. And something someone did to make you feel like they didn't want to put effort in or something like that. So this is a very specific situation 
the their reconciliation does suggest someone that you've already that you already know so that's what i'm getting from this so let me know what you think of those two um, pages that we got as well and what you what you get from them so let's look at your charms as well getting organized for you here okay right, so I'll get you some numbers so the numbers can represent birth dates significant dates coming up this month or next month so we've got the third 13 we've got a four two fours so yeah, think birth dates, think lucky numbers, got eight, 13 anniversaries, things like that. Just some letters. So we have M, E, R, R, A, S, Another S, R, N, H, and U. So I'll leave those for you to work with. Uh, yeah, we'll use the focus palm today. One. So let me just take a quick peek here and then I'll tell you what I think. Okay, I already <laughs> I already see quite a bit here. We've got ant here. Sometimes in love readings these ones don't make as much sense, but they could to a few people, so I believe they pop out for a reason. We have an I there as well. You can include that with the letters if you like. You have a lot about light bulbs, lamps. So that's really making me think of this awakening card. So realization, awakening, ideas, sudden flashes of information. But what I noticed in the focus palm is this person doesn't really know how to move forward. So they know what door they want to go through, so to speak. So, you know, what path they want to take. They, they realize that they want to put in more effort, but they don't know how to do it. Or they don't, they're not in a rush anyways, okay? So they're, they're sort of at a bit of a standstill. They don't really know how to act yet. Um, and there's a bit of like, there's a little bit of like, they don't really know how to put in the same amount of effort. But there is potential for reconciliation as we saw in the cards. There is potential for a fresh start. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Now as far as signs, we have Scorpio and Capricorn. Okay, so this might connect to a few of you. It might not. If not, no worries. So yeah, the light bulb and the little lamp make me think of that awakening card. So you have sparkle up. So sparkle up to me. This is brand new, so I'm happy to see it. But the sparkle up charm just makes me think of like... It almost reminds me a bit of that... Let me just grab this card for you. It reminds me a bit of like the Ace of Pentacles or or even the Six of Pentacles where they're they're realizing like the value of the relationship. They're seeing like how special something was. Sparkle Up also makes me think of like polishing a situation, fixing a situation. So whatever that means for you, we've got the engagement ring. So this could even be someone you're currently married to. Maybe you've been feeling like you've been pulling all the effort. You've been putting forth most of the effort. Maybe they realize that and they're wanting to make a change. If you're not with the person, it could just mean you might hear from someone soon that wants to reconcile and, and figure things out. Now, because this is reaching a lot of people, it doesn't mean you have to. You might already be moved on. You might be not wanting to... Um, you know, fix the situation. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you might not be wanting to um, connect with this person. So it's really going to be up to you and your situation. So let's see here. 
got the eight of wands. So I would expect some information or something to have happen quickly. You might hear from them suddenly out of the blue. We have will, so I will. Um, I would, oh, so I'm going to read the charms as a whole and then I'll sort of point them out. So I am seeing a gift, an unexpected gift or, or communication of some kind. One of you is extremely creative. One of you is very, very creative. So it could be like, think of something creative. Maybe they'll want to write you a letter or say something using words. So think letter, poetry, things like that. A song, maybe they'll send you a song. Maybe that's how they communicate. They might make you something. There is a creative a little bit of creativity in this in this uh, charm reading here about what they want to say. They just don't know how to say it. They don't really know how to say it. They're not in a rush because I think they just don't know how to move forward. They want to, but they don't know how. They haven't let you go for sure. They have not let you go. And again, they almost like are, they're just realizing how special the connection was and they want to cherish that. Now this person, it could be that they're very indecisive by nature. It could be like Seven of Cups vibe where they have trouble making a decision almost. So it's going to depend on each of you, but I see that the two of you have a lot of fun together. They think very highly of you as well. There's a bit of like wanting to rescue you or like rescue the situation. Like they want to be your hero almost in a sense. You're very unique to them, very special. They, they, they recognize that, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, they have a lot they want to say too. We've got the moon energy and there's still a lot of like unknown here and secrets involved with that or things that they want to say to you. Um, but they're trying to get your attention, possibly through creative avenues. So making you things, sending you songs. Po you know what? It even might be so subtle that they're posting songs on their Facebook that are are intended for you to see. Like they want you to see. They might be fo posting photography with a quote, hoping that you'll see it, something like that. And that could be you too. So again, whatever resonates. If you're resonating more with one side of things than the other. <clears throat> but either way, as far as this connection goes, group one, I do see some reconciliation, especially because we got this card. I see a lot of realization, which is really good. And a, and a better start, a more practical long-term start for the two of you. But it is saying like you're you have to you have to sort of demand that self-respect as well. So if you feel like you're carrying everything, it might be a, it might be a point where you need to sort of speak up and say something to them so that they know how you're feeling. Cuz holding it in, there's a lot of like holding and feelings on both ends here. A lot of that needs to be said here. And I think your perspective will change with time as well. Uh, sort of like how, how, where things went wrong, where, you know, what happened, what could we have done better, that sort of thing here. So a lot of like listening. And what I find interesting is we got this past is now behind you card. Release it and embrace new possibilities. With the reconciliation, these two cards are really, they pair really well together as does the Ace of Pentacles. So a lot about fresh starts for the two of you, which is really nice. Sorry guys, I'm starting to lose my voice, but I hope you enjoyed this reading group one. I hope it resonated again. This was a little bit more specific. So if you're watching this and thinking, okay, none of this is making sense, then this one might not be for you, but hopefully the next one will be. But if it does resonate, let me know in a comment. I'd love to hear um, how it resonates, what you think of the charms. If you notice, I read charms differently sometimes. A lot of people want me to like pick up every charm, but typically how I started and how I feel comfortable reading is to read it as one picture, almost as if I'm looking at a painting. That's just how the messages come through clearer and more specific. Um, sometimes when you break it up, it's almost like breaking up a poem, I guess, into little words and moving them around. So for me, I like to look at it as a whole and read. So um, I'll show you some charms now and then, like I like I did today, like, but that's how I tend to read. So let me know if these res if these resonated, if it made sense. I would love to hear, but the focus here, the focus situation here is someone's afraid to act or they're hesitant to act. They don't really know what to do next, but there is movement. They know what they have to do. It's just maybe, okay, how, how can I say it? Maybe someone has a hard time communicating through words. So they try to communicate through a little bit more creative, creative avenues, but there is commitment there. There's definite commitment. And a lot of memories as well, just like the poem said, like they're they're collecting these memories of you and keeping them almost. It's it's 
It's almost like they're trying to piece everything back together now. So very interesting. So I would love to hear what you think. I hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you Finger next two. time. So if you chose the second crystal or a light, then this is your love message. And still, as I record this, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this video, but I just felt called to do a love message. So this might have to do with what you're going through, what you will be going through, a situation that is happening right now. If you feel like while you're watching it, you're like, okay, this isn't making sense, then we, I would say this one might not be for you. It might be another pile, but let's see what you have. So I've got my lover's oracle here. I also have the charms and we have the magic oracle books here to get a message about what they would say to you if they could. What would they like to say? So very exciting. So let's take a look. So that's a nice start. You've got love. Sorry, one of my hairs stuck to my hand. We've got very soon. Eight of wands the moon, king of swords, and you have make a conscious choice. So these, okay. So I would like to ask the lover's oracle for a quick clarification on something. Okay, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, so the moon. So there is a bit of confusion in the situation here. It feels to me like there's a little bit of confusion about how someone's feeling, communication maybe. Maybe there was something that something happened where you guys broke up in communication. There's confusion around this, okay? Because you do have the moon. Um, but this is the thing, something is going to happen soon, very soon, and because we have the Eight of Wands, that's telling me something is going to happen quickly that should clear things up. Now, you have the King of Swords, so the King of Swords is truthful, very decisive, so whether or not that represents you, or somebody, or even just the situation, it seems to be something's going to be cleared up, because the Moon, I mean, this is a very emotional card anyways, you have a lot of emotional energy when you see the Moon. I mean, this represents secrets, so it could be secret crushes in, in regards to the situation, either you having a crush on someone or vice versa, someone could have a crush on you, or who knows, it could be mutual as well. But either way, this is about secrets. And after the moon, so when the sun comes out, I guess is how you could put it, um, there's clarity there. And that's what I see happening. And I see it happening sort of quick, all of a sudden happening all at once sort of things with the eight of wands. So then you have make a conscious choice. So rise above any conflict spiritually and make a decision regarding the situation or person. Consciously choose what you want so that you can manifest your heart's true desires. Ask yourself what changes need to be made. Follow your heart and do what's right for you at this moment. So I like that because with the moon too, there's always a message of trusting your intuition. If your intuition's telling you that something needs to change, something needs to happen, then, you know, you have to trust that. And this card really sort of says, through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. You can't really see it yet, but something is going to happen. And soon where you're like, okay, that's why this had to happen. So the, the, even with the King of Swords being there, it's making me think of like dealing with things head on, not hiding from issues. So that's interesting. I'll get to that love card in a second. I do want to get you these heart-shaped cards are interesting to shuffle but I like how they pop out okay so you have wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course exactly with the moon sometimes the moon says it's it's time to wait until you have all of the information which you will you've got the eight of wands I see things clearing up for you but right now it's just saying wait see how things pan out there's nothing really much to do at this point now but things will be clearer very soon with the king of swords and the Eight of Wands. Now you also had, along with that card, transformation. So your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So even though there's been a bit of confusion, turmoil, a little bit of maybe, you know, just things happening, it's saying that love conquers and transforms all things and your relationship is going through somewhat of a transformation. Now, if you haven't met this person, you're thinking, okay, who is this talking about? This could talk about something that's going to happen in your relationship very soon. 
with someone that you meet, possibly a crush, something like that. But either way, if you pick this pile, something's happening soon. And I'm really excited to see what the Magic Oracle book says about this. So then you have love. And this card is very straightforward. In fact, actually, the image reminds me of not so much this moon card, but traditional moon cards. There's the reflection there. So that, and it's very emotional because water represents our emotions. Let's see if we notice anything else. The light shining through is making me think of clarity. It's making me think of the sun. So really, I mean, I just, this, I think this is just saying it's possibly a true love situation. This card, I mean, considering it's a love reading, it's pretty straightforward, um, but this we got really cool information from this because it's going. You're going through some changes, either personal changes or within a relationship, and it's saying right now just sort of wait to see what happens with this. There's more information coming. Things will happen, and I think with the Eight of Wands that would suggest things happening quickly. Now the Eight of Wands can talk about travel as well, so that might make sense to you as well. There could be someone you're currently distanced from for some you know travel issues things like that uh, that might resonate for a few of you but more so the eight of wands and this reading is making me think of things happening very quickly and suddenly because you have the very soon card especially so this just says clearly decide what you want so that comes to you now actually that makes sense okay so what's interesting is we've got the message to wait but decide. So that's where your intuition comes in. That's where the King of Swords comes in, maybe. So you don't have to do anything, but sort of decide in your own in your own heart, okay, what is it that I want? Now, this could be something with your partner if you're in a relationship. This could be if you're single, you're deciding between someone or a situation. Because so many people are watching it, it's going to be different for each of you. But I'd love to know what you think and how that connects. So let's see what your soulmate or the person in your life would say. So let's use this one. So how this works is I just go like this and I land my finger and that's what they would say to you. So because obviously these aren't their words, what we're looking for is the essence of what they would, would like to say. So when we go greeting card shopping, we're looking for what we would say. You know, when we're looking at greeting cards, like that one's perfect. That's what I would say to them. So the same kind of idea here. So group two. Of all the tra tragedies on this earth, there's none more tragic than a person who cannot see their worth. Wow, that one, that one's intense. Wow. Of all the tragedies on this earth, there's none more tragic than a person who cannot see their worth. So that could be talking about you not recognizing how important and special you are. That could be the other person. That could have been linked to what's happening with the transformation or possibly... You know, you may not understand why certain things happen, but the higher purpose, you know, the blessing being revealed. So that could be, you know, something, something going on there, you know, maybe you're not realizing how special you are and what you have to offer. So let's just get you, now these ones are very, they, you'll see when I, when I go through it, but you'll really have to find meaning personally in these. Okay. These are, these are a little bit more direct the one I just did than these. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is what I was drawn to is this one here, but I saw eternity the other night, like a great ring of pure and endless light, all calm as it was bright. Okay, so whatever that means to you, that might be a little bit more personal. So let's put these away and I'd love to see your charms because that's where we're going to get letters and words and initials and charms specific to the situation so let's just make sure you can see here so we're using the focus palm today and i'll do the letters and numbers first Appreciate your help with the words. Thank you so much. Two ends. F. I. I. T. U. So it could be a nice close up. Get you some 
numbers. You might have found meaning in those book, what I got from the book just personally too. It might not even have to connect with love. in the intro I'm going to read these as a whole and then I'll show you what's important here but let me just take a look here at what we have the ant charm keeps coming up I have to note so there could be Someone's aunt just trying to come through to say hello. It might not have any relation to what's happening in your love life, but for a few of you, it could. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. And this is why I like reading this way, because I immediately see that you were in a situation maybe in the past, not even linked to a person that you're looking for now or the new person, but you were in a situation where for sure somebody was jealous either of what you had, who you were with, jealous, and tried to either sabotage a relationship, something like that. Okay, this is in the past though. This is something that's happened. Um, or you were jealous of a situation with somebody before, okay? So someone made you feel not important. Someone made you feel not special. You felt self-conscious about something, okay? But what it's saying is that's not reality. That's not how you should look at yourself. Just like that one verse said, like your worth is very, like that. It wants you to know how important you are, how special you are, how unique you are, okay? And the golden donut represents uniqueness. It, re it represents special. It's not ordinary. It's extraordinary. And that's that's what that means to me now what i'm seeing here is whatever the situation is is going to require a little bit of like bravery on someone's part a little bit of daring a little bit of um, effort quite a bit of effort on one person's part i think it's the other person i don't think it's you i think you're going to hear from them very soon you have special delivery this little envelope and inside it says loving you so as soon as i saw that eight of wands the eight of wands can talk about news coming in very suddenly the little letter that just is confirmation to me now it's going to take some work the situation is going to take some work to improve or communicate better but that's what it's saying is there's ups and downs to life there's things that you know Sometimes relationships are good, sometimes they're not. Sometimes we feel really confident, sometimes we don't. Um, so it is asking you very clearly to trust your intuition as well. Your intuition's really big here, okay? In this situation, trust it. Um, trust your emotions, you know, trust how you're feeling about the situation. As far as when I said there's action being, being like sort of happening, there's transformation happening. But I mentioned with the charms that there's action. Someone's putting forth some sort of action. And that's, I don't think it's you, okay? Because I remembered this card. So allow the situation to unfold sort of naturally, okay? It's going to happen very naturally. But it is saying trust your intuition, be brave, and please don't take, you know, anyone okay so this is what i'm getting someone acted a certain way out of their own insecurities but they projected that onto you so then you're like oh well this must have to do with me so for example they cheated on me because i'm not good enough they texted so and so because i'm not interesting not the case okay it had 100 percent everything to do with them so i don't know if it's this person that this is talking about, I don't think so. I think it's talking about someone entirely new that you might not even know about. I'm getting a strong secret crush vibe here. So there's secret crush happening here. Someone might have a crush on you. This could be in the initials here, um, but you're finding out very soon. So it's just saying, wait, someone's going to share honestly how they're feeling. Um, you know, this could be someone at work as well. We're getting here. It could be someone that you work with. But either way, someone is very um, 
attracted to you and all the special things that you do like you have a specific talent that they might be very drawn to there's something about you where they're like oh wow they're so cool um they're they're very proud of you about something too i'm getting six of wands just came in here so you have they're proud of you they're like wow like look at what he or she can do with this talent or this skill or this creative whatever the case may be so um what we're getting strongly and specifically that one poem we got from pillow thoughts is like you need to know that you're worth you're worth it like you're so special and unique so you need to know that and don't take just because someone else acted out of insecurity and it, and it you know may have hurt you or they they acted very selfishly it's not because you it's not you okay there's nothing wrong with you you're very special is what it's saying um and it's saying you need to make a choice okay so whether this is moving on for someone from someone um, this could be, this is going to be very personal. So ask yourself what changes need to be made. Follow your heart and do what's right for you in this moment. So it's saying, do what's right for you. Listen to your intuition, trust your intuition and yourself and know that there's more information coming. I'm getting the sense that someone new is very, is coming in very quickly. I think they're very interested in you. I'm getting a strong secret crush vibe, like I said here. Um, but it's saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So it's almost saying like you have to be in a place to receive this this newness, this exciting news that's coming in or whatever this is. Oh, we had passion. Okay, so a magnetic and seductive quality. In, oh, I like this with the like the pretty gold donut. So a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So you are so special and seductive and and like people are like, wow, like look at I think it could be your creative qualities. I'm getting a lot of that. It could be your spirituality. It could be the way you dress. We've got a little dress there. I'm thinking that's more professional though. Uh, but yeah, there's something about you that people are like, wow, this person's really special, but you don't see that, okay? So it's saying that number one, you need to, you need to recognize that. And then two, trust your intuition about a situation um, and let things sort of unfold in this situation because it's going to happen soon. And sort of out of the blue with the eight of wands okay so someone's sort of coming in here we've got night energy here someone's coming in especially with this little letter here so this is receiving information in regards to love because the little let the little oh it's not in there right now but it has a letter that says loving you so that is the story there i hope this resonated group too i would love to hear in the comments if it did um and we'll see Hi, you group soon. three so if you chose Number three, Rose Quartz, and this is your love message. So we'll take a look at your cards, but I also have the Lover's Oracle. We've got your charm, so lots of information there, like words and initials and specific situations. And then we also have the Magic Oracle book and a book of poetry too, so I can find out exactly what someone would like to say to you. So. When I started the reading, I thought it was going to be all about soulmates, but what we've gotten is a little bit different. We've gotten a lot of different love situations because today I sort of just left it open to the cards. I said, I want to do a love reading. What does everyone need to know? So um, it's been interesting so far, so I'm very excited to see what you get. So let's take a look. So you have strength, the sun, Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, Trust Your Intuition, and Keep an Open Mind. Okay. Hmm. So, Group 3. I'm really excited to see what your book says as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we'll start with the sun. So the sun in any reading is just welcome. <laughs> I always love seeing the sun. But in a love reading, it's many, many things because the, the sun's all about just being content in a situation. It talks about happiness and celebration and improved situations, improved health, clarity and understanding. So if you've been confused about something, the sun promises that things will be very clear. Things will be out in the open. Um, so it's very truthful, honest um, energy as well. So this could mean many things. And with the other cards, because you've got seven of cups, which can talk about not necessarily confusion, but not knowing what to pick, what to do, 
sort of like facing decisions, but fear of making that choice sometimes, you know, so in a relationship reading, this could be fear of making a commitment or just second guessing yourself or someone's been second guessing or just in fantasy land. Sometimes it just, sorry, I just bumped the camera. Sometimes this can talk about being in, uh, I talk with my hands. <laughs> so um, but yeah, fantasy land or like fantasizing and not really wanting to make a choice, but just sort of wanting to be in that bit of fantasy land time where you're just sort of not actually doing something, but you're thinking a lot about it. Um, so this, this makes sense. So there's going to be some clarity though. And I think with trust your intuition too, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. So maybe trust your intuition in regards to a decision, or maybe there's someone else that's trying to really listen to their intuition, but things will be clear. And even honestly, if we had pulled say the tower and the 10 of swords, this would still shine a bit of a, an optimistic light on the cards. Whenever you get the sun, you can at least know that the situation is okay overall. Okay. So this sort of shines that nice warm light on the rest of the cards that comes with it. So then we have two of wands. I love the two of wands. Um, I don't know why, but I, I always have. So the two of wands is making choices and it's planning. It's a very strong foresight card. So it's thinking ahead, but it's also action. So taking action, but it's like that first stage of action, you know? And then later we see the three of wands come in with that, that assurance that something's working, something's happening. But these are like that early stage of you know, I'm, I'm making some decisions, I'm thinking ahead, making choices, sort of taking control of my future in a sense. And then also the two of wands, because the, the wands can represent passion and excitement, uh, this can just represent feeling strong chemistry with someone. So if you haven't met someone yet, it could just be that soon you'll find someone that you feel very strong chemistry with. So maybe for you, it's that you have a lot of people interested in you, but you're like, oh, I'm not sure. So someone could come along, you'll, you'll have clarity and <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm losing my voice, but yeah, you'll have clarity about, okay, who, who do I want to be with? You'll feel that chemistry. Now, what's cool is you have keep an open mind so your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So that's interesting because that sometimes says that the person you're thinking of, it might be someone else, it might be someone different, you know, uh, which sort of goes back to the seven of cups in that there's, there's more options than you could even imagine. So let's pretend right now you've got a crush on someone. It could turn out that you know, someone else comes along you didn't expect. You're like, whoa, okay. Oh, all right. I like them too. Uh, something like that. If you're in a relationship, it could just mean that your partner, I find this card comes out when your partner might surprise you with something about themselves. But let's get a little bit more info from the Lover's Oracle. Okay. These ones are fun to shuffle. And I like how they pop out of the deck. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So there is a new start happening. And what's interesting is the sun talks about birth, new beginnings, a new start sometimes. So that makes sense. So we'll put that there. And then give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. There we go. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So you deserve this. That's what it's saying. So maybe with the two of wands, it's saying look at the future a little bit more optimistically with the sun and with this with this uh, blessings of love soon to come your way with the new beginning. So look at the future optimistically because sometimes maybe what the seven of cups is trying to say, maybe you're not seeing all that's available to you or you're feeling like you're second guessing yourself maybe. So this one, I don't know if I read this one yet. Let's just see. Trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about the situation or person. Your feelings are real. Trust that you can tune into your inner guidance and follow it. Everything you need is within. Follow your heart. So yeah, trust your intuition. That did make sense with the Seven of Cups. I think I did notice that card already. So then we have Strength. So the Strength card, honestly, to me, it's just talking about inner strength you know, it could talk about a strength of a relationship. It could talk about personal strength, but the strength card can also mean patience. So that's what I'm getting today is more of the patience end of things, but the actual strength message might make sense for you too. But I'm getting a message of, you know, personal patience and strength, knowing that something good can come and will come. Only 
only time will tell. So it's saying just give it time, like allow this situation time. Um, you know, maybe with the Seven of Cups, it's you're trying to know exactly what's going to happen because that sometimes is like, okay, um, I have all of these options. I need to choose the right decision. I need to make the right choice. But maybe it's saying like, just trust your intuition, trust the universe and just kind of give it time. Like see what happens. Two of Wands, we don't know what's going to happen. We know what we want. We know what we want it to look like, but maybe just there's a message of like keeping an open mind, not sort of being open to what, the universe has to offer you in love so maybe that's what the seven of cups is talking about i want to get you one more love message and then we'll go to the books and see what your soulmate message or what someone wants to say to you <laughs> sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred so it's saying that this is a sacred union honor it so if you're in a relationship and you're thinking, okay, how can I fit this in? This just means that, you know, keep an open mind about your future with your person. Um, trust your intuition. If you're having doubts about certain things, I think you'll explore, you'll find out more about your person and you can grow together. That's sort of what I'm getting here if you're in a relationship. And if you're single, I think all of the messages too, just about things improving, clarity and like having different options more than you more than you think, trusting your intuition, keeping an open mind about how things could turn out and uh, knowing that there's a new beginning and blessings of love too. I really liked that message. So let's see what the books have to say because that's again going to be very telling of what either somebody wants to say because you might already know who this person is. You might have met them or they could be coming in soon or you could be currently with them. That's the thing. Lots of different people are watching so it's different scenarios. So we'll do this one first. So how I'm doing it is I'm just going to land my finger there and look at this as like when someone buys you a greeting card. They didn't write what was in it but they mean what the words say. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's how you have to look at this. So it doesn't mean it's their words, but the, the sentiment, the, the essence of what this says is what they would like to say to you. There are little pieces of happiness and they are scattered throughout your day. Wow. The other group got this. This is interesting. So take a basket with you as you step outside, fill it up with all the little pieces and bring it back inside. Take a moment just by yourself, take out all the pieces and place them on your shelf. So how I interpreted that, oh, that's interesting. This I'm taking it a little bit differently for you guys with the seven of cups, but I think for you, it's just saying you're, you're, you might not have the full picture of what's happening, but you're going to start like being able to piece things together. And I think it connects well with this one too, is keep an open mind um, because you might surprise yourself of what, you know, what happens. Like someone might come in that sweeps you off your feet that you never even expected. It could be a friend. It could be, you know what I mean? There's all different kinds of scenarios. Um, so that's what I'm getting there. And that also reminds me of memories with somebody, memories with a person, collecting memories, reminiscing, being nostalgic. So we'll get you a message from the Magic Oracle book. Now this one's a little bit more, I guess creative is the word, okay? So this might just be a general message for you or it might connect to a love situation, we'll have to see, so. They dance by the light of the moon, the moon, the moon, they dance by the light of the moon. Cute, <laughs> I like that. I'm just trying to think of how that might fit in. I guess with the, with the intuition thing, I mean, the moon's all about intuition. You had a card about trusting your intuition, so. That's interesting, and that could be a clue as to something personal with you and another person. They dance by the light of the moon. The moon, the moon, they dance by the light of the moon. So that might feel very personal to a few of you. But let's check out the charms, because that's again where we're gonna get letters and, and really specific details. So we'll put those there. Just move books out of the way here. So we'll get you some numbers and letters first. pieces of fluff okay so we got five eleven twelve now these could be lucky numbers birth dates i find it interesting that the 11th 12th and 13th is here so that could be talking about dates maybe coming up in august it's interesting that could be anniversaries it'll be different for each of you For some of you, it might not make sense now, but it could make sense later. 
So let's get your letter. So we so these sometimes spell words, sometimes initials. You've got three A's. There's lots of vowels in this letter set, so four A's. So A's A is a big letter. I like how there's lots of vowels in this set though because it spells more words. So I'll hold that up for you. I see the word, the name Jen. Your name is Jen or Jan maybe, but I'll let you guys work with that. So if you wanna see some words, you can go down to the comments. Otherwise, I'll stare at them for an hour trying to make words. So, group three, let me just take a look at these charms. I'll move them around for you. And then, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to read them how I... How I've always read charms, and then I'll, I'll show you a few though. Like, we can definitely go through some, but here's that moon to go with your poem Union, marriage here. A lot about um, persistence or the need to fix something. You've got lots of words here too, so let me just get these organized for you. Because sometimes you can find phrases with the letters. You can people form full sentences sometimes. Okay, group three. Okay, so immediately I'm seeing two of wands again with the globe here. Let's look at your focus poem here. So we've got your sun twice because you had the sun card and you have the sun flower. So you've got the sun twice. So the situation's okay. That's what it's saying. It's okay. Things are going to be clear. There's going to be something to celebrate, be happy about, okay? So that's really nice to see. So you've got the carousel. This can be about things sort of feeling like they're repeating history repeating itself sometimes, getting off the carousel, so to speak. Got the Five of Cups, which disappointment, but something good coming from disappointment, other opportunities. You've got inevitability here, and you've got like a bit of a challenge, a journey here. So um, what I'm getting directly from your focus palm is whatever this thing that happened had to happen so that it could get you off of a pattern that was happening. So there was something happening, okay? And it's, it might feel almost like a blessing in disguise, okay? Something was happening and you were getting tired of the patterns that were happening, either with a person or just in general, relationship-wise, we all tend to have patterns or situations that we keep seeing over and over again. So something had to happen. It was inevitable. It might have been painful, but it was it was actually a good thing, okay? So that's what I'm getting from your focus palm. Now let's see here the rest of your charms. I'll just get that over there. So you have my new charm, the special delivery charm. So this means you're getting information, more information is to come. Someone has something to communicate with you in regards to love. Okay, now you've got more about listening to your intuition. Lots about your intuition here keeps coming up. We've got more about travel, two charms of travel, bottled up emotions, not knowing which way to go. So this is essentially very similar to the seven of cups that you got as well. 10 of wands, self-reflection, a lot about persistence. Okay, so let me just look at them as a whole. I've showed you Okay, someone's overthinking something in a situation. Like it's, it's, and there's definitely a sense of nostalgia or history with this person, okay? Um, now, it's wanting you to be open to different possibilities, okay? With the cards that we got about only time will tell, new beginning, um, blessings of love soon to become your way. We don't know what it is. There's, there's wanting you to sort of trust what's happening, trust your intuition. 
Um, we're getting a lot of that. You have a lot about travel. So travel might be playing a part in this connection somehow. Um, you've got a lot about patience or something really big happening very soon, but it's just asking you to have patience. Um, now, if that focus palm information didn't make sense, it's just telling you, you might have to help yourself um, to realize something, some pattern that keeps happening. Now, this could be with your spouse. So if you're married, for instance, you notice a pattern that keeps happening and it's not working. It could just be like facing the issue head on, dealing with it, being honest, not keeping your feelings hidden. And through persistence, you can make any relationship work as long as it's a healthy, mutually healthy relationship, mind you. Um, but if, you, if two people love each other, it, they, can, they can deal with differences, 100%. They can deal with differences, um, but it takes work. Relationships aren't easy all of the time. Sometimes, you know, people make it look like their relationship's all easy, but relationships take work. Friendships take work. Um, you know, that's a big part of it. So that's happening here. Now we do have messages of marriage possibly happening. Um, that might make sense of wedding. We're getting wedding messages here, but a lot about persistence and, you know, persistence with someone paying off is really big here. We've got quite a few Quite a few messages about persistence paying off strength um, working on something putting in the work into something um, but there needs to be like a realization or sort of like a call to what's happening it's like okay this isn't working anymore let's fix this um, but there is a sense of nostalgia someone from your past might be thinking of you as another separate message but all it's saying is something is fixable here okay whatever this reading today is talking about something is fixable. Okay, you've got the sun, remember that. So something's going to be improved, there's going to be clarity. A lot about like shiny, you've got the sparkle up charm, which is about fix, like shining something up, you know? Um, a situation having its sparkle, its sparkle coming back. Uh, and then you have like the seven of cups, which is about facing decisions again, and maybe fear of making a choice, but it's saying someone, there needs to be a sense of like responsibility here. Or like, okay, this is what we need to do. Let's not dance around it anymore. Let's get off the carousel. Let's, because this keeps happening. You know, that's what's coming through, through for me. And there's different ways you can go with this. It's going to be different for each of you, but there is like a sense of like, change that needs to happen but it's going to have to come from you like a decision you or another person or you and another person together so if this is resonating group three i'd love to hear it down below in the comments i love your messages um and if you enjoyed the charms today in the books i could definitely include the books again in more future readings i've been i've had this forever and i've been meaning to use it i got this when it came out a few months back so i've been wanting to use it so I'm really excited to use it today. So if you like that, let me know and we'll see you for. So I just realized my camera could zoom in and out. I didn't know it could do that. Wow. Okay. So if you chose the first, the fourth pile, then this is your message, Spirit Quartz. So let's find out what love message you have. So we've got your lover's oracle here. So this, this has been really fun today. We also have the charms, of course, with the focus palm and we have the magic oracle books. So very exciting. Lots of information in regards to love. This could be something that's happening now, something that previously happened or something still to come. And you don't have to be in a relationship. You could be in a relationship single. Uh, it's going to be different for everyone. If you find you're watching it and it's not resonating though, uh, today's message might not be for you. So let's take a look. So transition. Oh yeah, you guys got two romance angels, so I took them both. So you have make the effort. And this could be the one. You have the eight of swords. The star. And the six of wands. and embrace love. Okay. Whew, group four, let's take a look. So eight of swords, we'll start here and then I'll get you a lover's oracle as well. So the eight of swords, this comes up when we're feeling stuck. And it's also a card about feeling, I mean, what I'm sort of getting is you're stuck, either stuck to someone or stuck in a scenario. Some things you're feeling like you can't, fix something, you don't know how to fix something, um, or you're worried about something, perhaps. This can also talk about insecurity, so it could mean that you're feeling very insecure in a situation. So that's what we're getting there. I'm just trying to look at the image to see if anything else comes up. 
It's almost like she's writing a letter, which we'll see if that has any connection to. So then we have the star. So whatever this situation is, I do see hope, okay? Because you have the star. So this card is about hope. It's about improved situations. It's that calm after the storm. And it also represents a fresh start. So this is really nice to see as well. Then you have the six of wands. So the six of wands in a relationship reading can talk about a successful relationship or because it's about success success and reaching goals, things like that, it could just be that you'll have an encouraging partner who encourages you and lifts you up, so to speak. So that's what I'm getting there. So let's see what situation is happening here. So we've got embrace love. So make space for another, accept the connection for what it is, embrace new opportunities and embrace the blessings around you. Allow yourself to be open and vulnerable. Through embracing vulnerability, you will find strength. Open your heart to accept and receive more love. So that's sort of like embracing a situation, being open, because the, the Eight of Swords would make sense because that's like closed off energy. So maybe you're feeling closed off to something or a person. And then with your two romance angels, we've got make the effort, and this could be the one. So make the effort, again, sort of tells me that there's something that you could be doing to move yourself closer either to a person or just to love in general, you know, finding someone. So that's sort of what I'm getting from there. This could be the one, let's see what this says. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for a few of you, you could actually know who this person is already. This could be someone that you've already met. So that's an interesting little card and then the make the effort says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so there's a bit of like it's calling for you to do something for you to embrace a situation like this card talks about or have hope you know move forward then we've got transition this is all almost reminding me of eight of cups so in a love reading that could mean you're moving on from someone you're transitioning away from a situation onto something better uh, and in a love reading that can talk about giving something a true try. So if you're in a relationship, that could mean that you and your partner decide to leave a problem in the past and give something an honest try, you know, start over almost in a sense. And if you're single, that just means it's wanting, it seems to be suggesting that you're stuck in a situation. You're stuck, you're feeling trapped by someone or a situation. And with the stars wanting you to move forward to look ahead. Then you have forgiveness. So stop focusing your energy on past events. See more about moving forward. You're stuck. Some, somehow you're stuck in the past. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So that's very interesting. That makes a lot of sense with, uh, with the cards that we've gotten already. Let's get you one more. I like these cards because they sort of jump out of the deck. So there's no mistaking what messages are for you. Okay, got a few here, so we'll take them all. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So maybe that's what's sort of keeping you stuck in the scenario, in this situation you can't move forward because you're, you're basing your decisions on, on guilt or what you think others would want you to do and instead of listening to your to yourself. So there seems to be like a focus on the wrong things right now either on what people think, past events, someone far from your past, but there's a feeling of being stuck, feeling like you're not in control. But the key with the Eight of Swords is that you are in control of whatever this uh, situation is. So then you have surrender. At times we must surrender the old <laughs> before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it'll all work out. So more with the, there's something you're holding on to. Is it a person? Is it something someone said? You'd be amazed, like someone could have said something to you literally six years ago that just plays over and over and over and it affects your, your, your self-esteem or how you feel. So then we have my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So this reminds me of the you've already met the romantic partner you seek card. So there's a sense of like you, you, you've met them. I mean, it could be past life connections as well. Um, it depends on what you believe in, but it could be that, that you've met them, you've connected somehow. If you've watched my videos before, you know, I honestly believe we connect through people through our dreams. I really do believe that. 
Um, so it could be a scenario like that. I mean, it's going to be different for each of you, but I'm really excited to see what your magic book has to say because that's been giving us some really cool messages today. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so we'll use both books. So we'll start here. So how I'm using this is basically I'm going through the page and then I'll stop on a certain page. Now, you have to look at this as almost like a greeting card. So if someone were to go buy you a card, they didn't write what, what it said, but the sentiment was there. The, the, the essence of what the card is saying or what this is saying is what they would say to you. So that's sort of how you have to look at it. So let's start here. So group four. Oh, wow, and it has forgave. We had the forgiveness card. So I forgave you for myself, not for you. You were too selfish for me. So when you broke my heart, I decided to be selfish too. Selfish in the way I, selfish in the way I stopped making everything about you. Okay, I just got tingles. Wow, I got, sh I got shivers there, honestly. I wanna read it just one more time. I forgave you for myself, not for you. You were too selfish for me. So when you broke my heart, I decided to be selfish too. Selfish in a way I stopped making everything about you. Whoa, that just gave me shivers. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna get you one from here as well. Now these ones are a little bit more, I guess, abstract. Um, it might not even be talking about love. There just could be a message for you. So let's see. The people I love the best jump into work head first without dallying in the shallows and swim off with sure strokes almost out of sight. So again, that does connect to the reading because there's a bit of hesitance in your reading, like a fear of moving forward, fear to take a chance, fear to let something go. So that makes sense as well. So let me know if these if these make sense. I really liked what you got from Pillow Thoughts. I thought that that gave me honest chills. Let me know if it gave you chills too. Because that's really what forgiveness is about. It's not so much about the other person. We forgive so that we can move on. So there, you have the forgiveness card, and then with that card, with that book talked about, there's definitely an element of needing to forgive to move on. So let's get you some numbers. Oh, you have an A in there too. So numbers could be dates be personal numbers for you, anniversaries. We had a letter stuck in there. Sometimes they get mixed up. And you guys are so good with the letters, so thank you in advance. I really liked your poem. up here. Sometimes they spell things, sometimes they don't, and some things might not make sense right away, but they might later. Okay, so I'm just gonna cough, I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry, guys. Okay, so let me just take a look here. We'll see what we have and then I'll read them and then we can go through a few charms. So everyone pretty much got my new charm. It's like it's saying, it's like it's introducing itself to everyone. Okay. Okay, so immediately without even having to go through all of these, I see a lot about the Eight of Swords, okay? Because we have the devil, okay? We've got the devil here. This is very similar to the Eight of Swords because you're feeling stuck by something. You can't move, you can't, but it's, it's the thing to remember about the Eight of Swords is even though things happen around us that prevent us from moving forward, this is more so talking about those things that we do to ourselves, the, the things we tell ourselves that trap. And look, even though we've got the devil, she's got the horns there. So there is a connection with the devil card and that is about feeling stuck. We've got the handcuffs. So there's an attachment. There's feeling like you're, you're not, you have to release somebody or release yourself from somebody. So in the focus palm, we have the little Cupid. So this is suggesting someone new. Cupid has struck and the lights just flickered. So that just made 
that was kind of cool. I don't know if that showed on camera, but the light, lights flickered when I was talking about the cupids. If something's happening there, let's ask the lover's oracle. What is this cupid about? We had one flip out, only time will tell. Okay, so it's not wanting to tell us, but that is, that's okay. Um, so then we have the hot air balloon, which is about perspective. So it's just saying your perspective is going to shift. Something's going to change. You're going to have a wider view and a clearer view of how something really was. You've got the mask upside down, which means the truth is out there. You know, the someone's revealed who they truly are to you. I think that definitely ties into not only what the poem was talking about, but what your cards are talking about too. Group four, I have to say this is the most magical feeling one because just the way they're flowing, the way the messages are coming out to me as well. Um, something magical is happening here for you, okay? Um, so the saddle makes me think of try again, like don't give up just because, here I'll get that out of your way so it's not glaring, but the saddle is making me think of, you know, don't give up, you, you know, try again, get back in there. Um, whether that be like the dating world, whatever that is, um, don't give up, you know, try again. Turtle spirit makes me think of something happening slow but steady, so it's forward movement. Um, so it could just mean that something's happening slower than maybe you'd like, but it's still moving along, okay? Now we have uh, messages about persistence paying off, okay? So that might mean something to you. To me, I'm sort of getting like, you know, don't give up, don't give up, like keep moving forward. Why give up on love? I see a lot of comments sometimes of people like, that I think are probably in their 20s saying, I give up, I'm never gonna find someone. But <clears throat> one time I made the comment, you know, that people meet their loves of their lives in their 50s, which is true. And then someone commented, oh, I don't wanna meet the love of my life in my 50s. It was just sort of like an example that you don't, you know, it doesn't mean you're gonna meet someone when you're 19 and that's the person you're gonna be with forever. You know, we meet people and we cross paths with people when we're supposed to. So for you, that's what I'm getting group for. And you also have the star twice, so hope. So it's telling you to have hope, keep moving forward. And the star comes after the tower, which is, you know, big change and sudden like collapse of what you knew. So this could be that you broke up with someone and it just like came out of nowhere. And now you're sort of putting the pieces back up. So that could be what it is it's saying, have hope, keep moving forward. You've got the sun, which is about optimism too. And sunflower in particular is about being yourself because when we look at the Queen of Wands, we often see sunflowers, which is about individuality, being yourself. So there's a lot about like being okay with who you are, um, being confident with who you are as well. So we've got the little uh, police box from Doctor Who. Now, a lot of people um, noticed that. I did an ASMR video where I went through all of my new charms and a lot of people were really happy to see that charm. Unfortunately, I haven't watched Doctor Who, um, but from what I gather, that box is about time travel. It's about, um, you know, the future, space and time. So what that's making me think of is how the, the poem and everything keeps connecting to something way in the past that's keeping you stuck. So you have to almost take the handcuffs off. Embrace the new is what this one was talking about. Make space for another. Accept the connection for what it is. Embrace new opportunities and embrace the blessings around you. Allow yourself to be open and vulnerable. Through embracing vulnerability, you will find strength. Open your heart to accept and receive more love. So there's a bit of like being closed off and which is understandable. It could be a transition time like this card talks about. It could be, you know, but it's just saying, you know, move forward, at least be hopeful that something else is coming along because it seems like you're keeping yourself stuck here with the little handcuffs. You know, you're keeping yourself stuck here in a sense. So maybe you're holding on to someone that you know, you, you know, isn't the best for you. Somebody was definitely dishonest with, because this could talk about like, um, this reminds me of seven of swords sometimes. So with the mask, like it could have been something that happened um, before. I mean, there's different charms here. So like I always say, the charms might be specific. The, the dollar sign could mean that it was a financial change too, along with the emotional change. So it could have been like a marriage and you're dealing with finances, things like that. But it's just saying, keep moving forward. Things will get worked out. But the Cupid is really what 
sort of got my attention. And then when I asked the cards what it was about, we got the only time will tell. So it's not wanting to tell us, which I actually think is exciting. So it's saying to you, just embrace it. We're not going to tell you what it is, but it's something exciting and your perspective will change with whatever this is. So very adorable. So group four, I would love to hear if this resonates. This was, the, I really liked your group a lot. I love all the groups, obviously, but sometimes one group will stick out to me in a certain way and it was definitely group four today so very exciting i hope this resonates and i would love to hear in the comments if it does see you next time